Hello friends, welcome to Testing Shala YouTube channel. In this video, I am going to focus on APM mobile app automation tool. So APM is an open source uh, automation tool which is widely been used for automating mobile app testing. So before proceeding further, if you have visited the uh, Testing Shala YouTube channel for the first time, then please click on subscribe button and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing will be in your inbox that help you to enhance your software testing skills. So let's move on to understand what is all about APM mobile app automation tool. So APM mobile app automation tool which is an open source automation framework which is an open source automation tool which is free of cost so you need not pay any money because it's an open source tool and it offers uh, great scalability and flexibility it is a top automation tool in the mobile auto mobile test automation space it is one of the top automation tool in the mobile test automation space almost around 35 to 40 percent of the market share of the mobile automation tool is being captured by APM because because of the open source now open source is widely get, getting the recognition and everybody is trying to contribute in the open source world so hence everybody is encouraging to use open source tool hence most of the companies which is operating on the mobile testing uh, space in that almost 35 to 40 percent of the sh share being acquired by the APM. So another important factors of APM is it uh, supports different platform that is a, one of the main advantages of APM it supports, supports all the three important mobile platforms one is Android, iOS and Windows it supports all the three different platforms and it supports various types of mobile apps as well such as native mobile apps mob web apps and hybrid apps so APM can be used to automate any of these three types of apps mobility apps so another advantage is APM is a cross-platform testing framework it is an open source testing framework and one more advantage here is whatever we develop framework or code in one platform and it can be reused in another platform that means if you automate it in iOS iOS we can easily use in Android without having any issue in the same way you can whatever it is automated in Android you can use it in uh, Windows platforms and whatever it is automated in Windows platform you can reuse in iOS platform so that is the funda of cross platform that uh, saves lot of time and effort it saves lot of time and effort in bringing the automation that is uh, one of the core strengths of APM automation tool the next uh, important aspect of APM is it supports various scripting language APM doesn't have its own scripting language but it supports various other scripting language similar to the selenium such as Java it supports JavaScript PHP Ruby Python C sharp you name it most of the popular programming language is been supported by APM these are the some of the very interesting factors of APM so let me recap the what are the important factors of APM is which is an open source automation framework it can scale and it is having a good flexibility in bringing automation and it captures almost 35 to 40 percent of the market share and it supports various uh, platforms such as Android iOS and Windows and it also supports various uh, types of mobile apps as well native mobile apps it does supports mobile web apps it supports and hybrid also it supports 
and uh, APM uh, framework which is a cross platform uh, testing framework that helps to write in one platform can be executable in other platform without having any challenges hence it saves lot of time and effort APM supports various scripting languages such as Java, JavaScript, PHP, Ruby, Python and C Sharp I hope you got an idea of what is all about background of APM. Then let's move on to understand how the APM automation framework look like. The architecture of APM framework is look like as below. So architecture of APM framework we can split into three areas. Three areas. One is where we are sending the request. Where we are sending the request to run the automation to execute the UI elements that is one uh, we call it as a client client in the same way there is a, another portion in the a APM framework is APM server which runs through the node.js and we have another uh, third area here is we are connecting all the devices it could be iOS devices it could be Windows devices or it could be Android devices so let's see how this uh, APM framework architecture really works here web driver scripts so whatever the selenium web driver we have we can use the same concept here with the same driver where to initiate the request so all the request is works in terms of a contest of sessions here so every request it gets creates a session ID and the session will can be it initiates a web driver scripts using Java J JavaScript PHP any other programming language which can we can share which we can initiate and send it to APM server. So automation can be initiated as a driver script using Java, Java scripts, PHP. Then APM server sends a JSON object request. It takes this request and it sends as in JSON uh, objects to the respective, respective devices. Again, for the same session, it responds back the response. The whole process is a way of bringing automation in APM framework which makes use of the session contest and we can use the, to initiate using the driver scripts and the language we could use Java, JavaScript, PHP or any other uh, supported uh, scripts for uh, Selenium driver and uh, it makes use of JSON to initiate the object request whatever the let's say if you wanted to call text box it creates a JSON object request for the text box and sends a request to the uh, let's say it for iOS device or Windows device and Android device based on that it goes and work on that object and get fetches the characteristics of that object whether you wanted to click or you wanted to highlight it or you wanted to put a text there all the operation can be operated through this JSON object request and one more thing we should be very clear to understand here is APM uses UI automator framework A UI automator framework for automating Android devices you should remember this and APM uses UI automator framework for automating Android phones and XUIT framework for Apple uh, OS. I hope uh, with this we are, you are able to get hold of the architecture of uh, APM framework and also you understood what is all about uh, in general APM and what are the advantages or what are the value it provides when you are trying to automate the mobile applications. I hope you enjoyed watching this video. If you like this video please click on like button and if you would like to share this video for some of your friends so that you can also click on share button and if you visited testing shala youtube channel for the first time then click on subscribe and bell notification so that all our future videos related to software testing 
will be in your inbox that would help you to enhance your software testing skills. Thanks for watching this video. Bye for now. Take care.